Bitcoin has finally broken the big $40,000 level. With this break to the downside, I'm going to be telling you exactly what this means for Bitcoin and what's to be coming next. I'm going to be incorporating this into my Elliott Wave count, which I know uh, interests many of you. So I'll be covering the Elliott Waves, the important levels, why I am still remaining short and uh, bearishly biased right now. I'll be giving you Honestly, everything that you need to know to make profits alongside me in this market right now. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy the video, you learn a lot, and just can pay attention and really absorb the information and knowledge that I will be sharing with you without a doubt in this video. So as always, let's keep it professional, let's keep it positive, and let's make some wonderful profits. So casting our minds back a few days, because I know it's very easy right now trading at 39,000 to think, oh, this has been so bearish for so long, right? But the market has, you know, really confused a lot of people. And this is why it's always it's always good to listen to somebody that has experience, that's gone through many different cycles, that knows when's the time to be very cautious indeed. And while we were hovering above $40,000, you know, many people thinking this is another, you know, very bullish move to the upside in coming. You know, I've kind of started to see these warning signs. Uh, this has been helped, of course, greatly with my Elliott Wave count, which showed a retracement. But also other factors that we've seen on the charts, which I will cover with you today. But, you know, I've been finally starting to get into this short and chill uh, bias. All right. So this was nearly five days ago now posted on Twitter, you know, short and chill. It's finally coming back. Of course, I've secured these nice short positions and now it's time to, uh, you know, get back into chill. Just simply looking for lower. So when we start to uh, dissect the chart a little bit more. Uh, for me, of course, we were coming down to that range low, but there were a lot of telltale signs of why we were looking for $40,000 to break. I just want to show and explain one thing really uh, simply for you all here, that when I post my charts to the group, this is for the champion members, of course, you can see the charts, I'll give an explanation, I'll be explaining what I'm looking for next, and as always, you know, if you have any questions or doubts about anything that I'm posting, we got the the questions channel. And in this questions channel, you can see I'm answering every single question that comes in. I'm explaining local setups. I'm giving clarification on exactly what I'm looking for, right? When it comes to my charts, when it comes to my trades and, uh, you know, putting in a lot of time and effort to really support the community of the champions and, you know, explain my charts in a lot of detail, every question that comes in about them. Uh, so that's, of course, something that I just wanted to draw your attention to because I feel this is a, a very important part of the service that we offer. But naturally, moving on, I you know, this this all really came about a bearish, um, you know, move expecting below $40,000 because of this Elliott Wave count. And I would really like to explain this in uh, some detail for you watching this that is maybe not a champion member. I still want to give you some insights uh, into the count. Of course, there's played out very nicely um but this really is you know <laughs> if you've been a member for the past few years this account of course originally stemmed from december 2021 uh well if you think about it this was the prediction that was made at this point in december 2021 but this account has also aided us to time the all-time high at sixty nine thousand dollars. remember so this is an extremely accurate Elliott wave count that led to the low price down here around fifteen thousand dollars and then looking for the rally back up so with all this in mind um these are some of the signs that we had coming together uh to expect this breakdown i'd just like to talk you through this briefly to give you some explanations Okay, you can get into my head. You can see as well at the same time, you know, the level of service and improvements that we are doing because it's it's real. And, you know, this is why I'm coming in here doing the daily plans. Of course, we're doing daily live streams, <laughs> but this is on top of the daily live streams, just making everything so much clearer, professional and you know, really wanting our clientele to succeed. You know, if you're a member of Chart Champions, we're here for you. We got your back. And how can we help you do well and trade better and be more profitable? It's by giving the best level of service we absolutely can achieve. So you know, I come in here day, uh, yesterday, yesterday morning, okay, so 8.40 a.m. UK time. And tell everybody, really simply, you know, I am bearish today. Based off of my technical analysis, everything for me is saying lower prices are going to come. I'm really thinking we are honestly going to break down below $40,000, okay? Primarily, my Elliott Wave count, 
you know, really shows me Bitcoin is going to be breaking down from $40,000. There's no ifs or buts, but it will break below $40,000 based off the Elliott Wave count. We had the mini range break to the downside. We had a double bottom on Bitcoin and I had some questions in my channel saying, isn't a double bottom bullish? The answer was no, this is a retail pattern. Uh, this gets a lot of newer traders excited. Double bottom, it's bullish. No, for me, this is another bearish sign. Buy bit missing the bottom by $4. Have a guess what this pivot high was put in at. You know, when you look back at the pivot high here, this is all put in around buy bits. Previous range point of control. So it's a very important exchange to be aware of. So that gave me more confluence for bearishness. Okay. What's this little bearish bias? And of course, we had a massive bearish CVD divergence. This is one of the biggest we've seen in a very long time. Okay. And then, so we obviously then, I'm giving the next potential, as always, longs, potential long setups, and then the potential short trade setups. So I come in here, give my bias, what I'm looking for, the reasons why, and then the next potential trades that we have ahead of us for the rest of the day. So, uh, you know, if you're interested in this new trading update style, this is what you can get, uh, you know, a very professional service given to you for the champion members. So with that said, I want to explain now this this Elliott wave count. This is a bullish Elliott wave count. So you can see my bullish Elliott wave count. I also have a bearish Elliott wave count, of course. And I know before you get confused as a as a trader, I will always have a bullish and a bearish count. Reasons explained in very much detail uh, during the most recent champions live stream but nevertheless we have to have two but with those two counts i make a bullish count and i make a bearish count and i trade just one of them the one which i feel is the highest probability why was this so perfect to me then because my bullish count and my bearish count both of those counts said we will break below forty thousand dollars so this is just ultra powerful so this is the bullish count we knew we needed a retrace to at least a 382, which is now tapped off of, of wave four to five, because this could, of course, still be an extended fifth with a larger internal wave extension. So that's why on my bullish count, we hit target and we were expecting a retracement. And on my bearish count, we hit target and was expecting a retracement. So, of course, the bearish count sees much lower prices to come. The bullish count saw a retracement and then you look for the next wave uh, for a potential extension. But both of those counts told me we were going to be breaking below $40,000. And that is what the beauty, real beauty of technical analysis is. And uh, if you're a champion, go back and watch this from minute 40, because uh, 39, because this was, uh, yeah, you see it all in real time of how I'm trying this, right? It was, it was a beautiful, uh, <laughs> beautiful bit of technical analysis. but um. You know, what I want to just say to here is the public that are not members, uh, Elliott Waves, extremely powerful tools. You know, you've seen me predicting markets, um, you know, years ahead of time. And this isn't because I'm special or got some sort of extremely uh, magic spells. No, it's just me doing technical analysis, putting in the time, putting in the uh, effort to to do the counts finding high probabilities and you know then these predictions years later are playing out um very nicely and this is what i do this is what i love you know i'm i'm passionate about technical analysis and this is like a real reason why because it seems like magic uh, but whether it's magic or not, <laughs> I've, uh, you know, there's a, a style that you could replicate. And what I want to share with you all here is a very powerful way of how we targeted uh, the top of this current wave. So I want to share this with you um, if you are maybe new to Elliott Waves to get you a bit excited to show you what we do. So one of the theories that I teach uh, in the whole course dedicated to Elliott Waves. So I've done the whole Elliott Wave course. All the theories that I use are taught. And one of these is we did not see an extension in wave one or three. Wave three is longer than wave one. If you see here, we go our trend, ba trend base fib extension, top of wave one to the bottom of wave two. Look at the one to one here, it's of course, above. But we did not extend on wave three. So what I like to do is pull my trend base fib extension from the start of wave one to the end of wave three. And this is what is amazing because the way I counted this, and again, this is in advance, this is not. Uh, in hindsight, this is where I've been counting this. My wave one, two, 
three, you can see here a lot of people would actually count wave three here. Why? Because it's the highest price. But what I'm actually looking at here is wave three, then an ABC expanded flat expanded flat is really simply where we take out the high of wave three here then we take out the low here and then this is classed as actually a a b c flat expanded flat in wave four where we take out the highs here take out the lows here so it's a very um not everybody is going to recognize this right and then something that I love to do then is for my targets of looking for the wave five is taking from the start of wave one to the end of wave three, okay, so here, to the end of wave four, okay, and then you're going to see something that's um, really, really, really nice here, so let's pull the extension, start of one, oh, start of one, end of three, low of four, and you are going to be hopefully as blown your mind as me, this is a, again, a, what I teach in all of the Elliott Wave course, this is replicable Hello and welcome. Re uh, information that can be, of course, replicated once you've learned the theory. Look at this. This is um, extremely powerful because that target from the wave three to four. Look at that. Even on the bullish count, you expect a retracement from here. The bearish count also expected a retracement from here. My bullish and bearish counts both lining up together to expect a pullback from around $49,000. You all know why I shorted $49,000 in the time, right? And it was from the, uh, when you go back, it was of course from the uh, naked point of control that we had. So I'm gonna try and find this for you. But you know, from this time, we come up, we hit that na monthly naked point of control on the monthly. And that for me, um, you know, is, is that's, that's what we wanted for the short trade. So it's way back on the 11th of January. That's the level we were looking for ahead of time. That's the level we hit monthly naked point of control. From here, took my short trades, you know, happily looking for lower, no longs, looking for more downsides. And now these shorts, we, of course, are in, are in a pretty amazing profits. Of course, we didn't just have that monthly naked point of control. It's all about confluence, confluence, confluence. You have Elliott wave counts. You have uh, volume profiles coming in here. You have, of course, the naked point of controls in here. It's just, this is what we this is what we do and what we love. And this is how we get high probability trades in technical analysis. So it's lovely when that all comes together. And this is how I can give like such plans with being so clear and honest and just very transparent with my members of what to be looking for, the highest probabilities and why the reasons behind this are. I mean, to look at those divergences on the order flow, it's it's pretty crazy when you think about it. Um, so then, you know, what you're going to be wondering now is what is to come next, Daniel? What What's next for Bitcoin? Um, of course, I love to start off with the reasons of my prior trades and, you know, really emphasizing to people, this is, of course, now I'm explaining it on YouTube for free after it's happened, but none of this is um, hindsight. Why? Because I show you all of the predictions that I'm making before that move happened before. So of course, now I'm reviewing this for free on YouTube, uh, but all of the information analysis and technicals that I give up are all in advance. Again, then on YouTube, of course, we go through that. But next, what I'm going to be talking about is what I'm looking for next. So <laughs> no hindsight here, right? So uh, next, um, I'm actually going to be looking, well, my primary target is still lower. And I want to explain something that's very important. So I naturally would like to see uh, lower prices to come on Bitcoin. And that is because of the weakness that we are seeing right now. But as a professional trader, I understand how probabilities can change. Okay. And this is why you got to pay great attention to the next uh, few minutes. Before I get onto that, I'd just like to remind you all very uh, clearly for the last time that if you want to see uh, these types of updates, if you want to see daily live streams, if you want to see live trading streams, if you want the whole educational course, from beginner to master, then you can get that via chartchampions.com. You know, uh, I've started from 2024. I'm, I'm back as the Chart Champion CEO, been a few years uh, away from that position, right? So I've come back as CEO. I'm very motivated and um, I know the direction that I want to take at Chart Champions and I feel, you know, it's uh, evident, uh, you know, the way that I've, I've come back in as uh, they're really, really trying my best, and I, I hope you can see that. So, yeah, I'm happy to be back as CEO position and really feel like the company is is moving in a very 
good, strong, positive direction. And the the champion members are the people that are getting the biggest benefits from that. Uh, you know, you can take a look at the money shots and see the amount of people that are taking in and raking in profits from, you know, these downwards movements on, on, on Bitcoin and oil. If you trade on the, in the, on the, the crude oil, <laughs> also make money on that. But nevertheless, what I want to explain now, that's just if you're interested in more, you know where to get it, chartchampions.com. We'll, we'll be here to look after you. Next, I want to explain. So I'm looking for lower, you know, my, my targets are lower. What could be a sign of strength? What could be a sign of strength where I have to say as a professional trader, hey, the markets do not need to go down here just because I would like lower doesn't mean it's going to happen. So I love to do this. I pull a fixed range of the current price action and I would say a sign of strength where I would say if we do point one or point number two target doesn't come anymore. And that is really simply here's a previous range point of a value area low. If we are to reclaim this, it does not make any sense to look for lower while we're below this. Yes, it does make sense to look for lower because we have now seen a breakdown, weakness, bigger targets are lower around $37,000, right? So I know while we're in this stage of weakness, I need to look for lower prices. If price shows strength and reclaims the level that was weakness, if we get back above, that is strength and a failed auction fake out fake out of the range, low reclaim, that's when we can actually look for very large, quick moves to the upside based off of a short squeeze. So a lot of people down here, weakness, okay, they're actually now very scared and shorting. I think lower prices are going to come, yes. But the magic of chart champions is I'm not scrambling to get into a short down here and facing the short squeeze because I got in the shorts from the highest point possible based off of my technical analysis. So I'm not going to be scared now scrambling at the lows for shorts. So I'm not going to be in a short squeeze, even though, yes, I am short. But the thing is short from higher. If we are to get a reclaim, I do think a short squeeze comes. I'm not going to be involved in that because I'm not shorting here because I had a very good prior prior plan, which was, of course, laid out, as you can see, the these mini updates are really fantastic. People love it best. You know, very, you know, naturally people, people are going to like this. So, um, yeah, this was my analysis. This was my explanation of why I'm looking for lower. How, if we get the reclaim, I do think we can absolutely activate a short squeeze and a very nice rise in price. Uh, we've got our first retracement, right, to the 382. So this is something to be aware of. We are getting some support. But until we get that reclaim for me, this is weakness. OK, and so I'm just playing on the side of caution. And if we get a failed auction, hey, I can react from that. Um, yeah, final words. I truly hope that you are doing well. I, I hope that you've made some profits on this downwards move. And, uh, you know, if you haven't or even if you have and you'd like to learn more how to do that regularly and pulling consistent profits every day uh, from the charts, you know, you can learn that from us via the platform something i'm very proud of and i truly believe we can we can really help you so yeah thank you ever so much i'll see you over on the discord or the website and i'm going to wrap there and say thank you ever so much everybody it's been a pleasure as always and that's me signing out thank you and have a good one just reading this comment second back we can see c left two times anyway you can see here uh, profit loss ratio 2000 so total profit 13000 total loss 5000 net profit 8700 not bad right uh, <laughs> not bad at all for a few weeks of trading so yeah $8000 a few weeks anyway i'm going to sign off there say thank you ever so much and cheers see you soon